In 1930, Coach Wallace Wade, after leading Alabama to its first two national titles, announced in April that this would be his last season in Alabama. Prior to the season's beginning, he issued a challenge to his team and informed the players that he intended to leave Alabama with a third national title. Those who wanted to be a part of it were welcome to follow. Those who did not were shown the door. Wade's teams were known for their defensive prowess but the explosiveness of the Alabama offense manifested itself with the first game of the season against Howard College at Denny Stadium. After suffering through injuries the two previous seasons, halfback John Henry Flash Souther began the 1930 season by rushing for 91 yards on four plays, returning a kickoff 96 yards for a touchdown, and contributing to a total of 34 points in 15 minutes. Alabama won the game 43-0. Alabama would go on to score a total of 271 points that season. The 24-0 victory over Washington State in the Rose Bowl capped off a remarkable year at Alabama, claiming its third national title in seven years. Alabama earned the Elephant Moniker, a symbol that eventually became the team's mascot during the 1930 season thanks to Everett Stuper, an official for the October 4 game against Ole Miss, who four days later published a column in the Atlanta Journal. In it, he described the Alabama lineman thusly, the thin red line is a thing of the past, existing no more. The red elephants have replaced it at the capstone. Their every move reminds one of this mighty animal of the jungle. First their size, then their stampede charge reminded me of pictures that I had seen of this beast on wild charges in the jungle when he merely runs over by brute strength anything that might get in his way. <laughs>